Hi guys, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming, where we are here with the glorious, the mighty, the holy order of Zahn back again. Now last time we realised that our world was on the brink of utter collapse guys, utter collapse. And Zanamar is about to fall very, very soon. We have found a couple of other worlds that we will... Uh, become part of we will get this desert world and this one of the arctic worlds over here and we will take this savannah world and we will consecrate trappist five i believe depending on uh, whether we take that as the next ascension perk but we are the holy order of zahn and we must continue the valley on autocracy interestingly enough are basically us <laughs> which is kind of weird it's interesting that that has happened that they have basically spawned in next to us and the same the same sort of uh, people as us uh, but yes we want to uh, continue also interesting how did they get this cluster here like, how did they get between their cluster over here i don't see the links maybe we just can't see it yet we can't actually see any of the links over there all the links over here, but probably because we can't see them yet. Fog of war and all that. Um, but yeah, we're continuing. Our colony ship is on the way to New Zahn, or what, whatever we're going to call it. What did we What did we end up calling it in the end? Uh, Riador the Third, but that's not the name we're going for. We should have just called it New Zahn or New Zanamar. But we will call one of these other ones New Zanamar. Zanamar is a savanna world. This is a Savannah world. We should definitely have called it New Zanamar. Well, we can change that name. Guys, if you have any suggestions for names, please do put them in the comments down below. For, for, um, uh, for worlds, for ships, for leaders, all that sort of thing. Well, after that laborious intro for you guys, I'm sorry about that. We will uh, press play. Get it up to faster speed. Doing plenty of stuff. We can, ah, we can build another star base. Othriga would be a good one to build. So this construction ship, but we also kind of need to build a starbase over there. But that's fine. It's not been fully surveyed yet. Surveyed yet. We just need to spread our border. Okay, incoming transmission. Valiant Autocracy. The Valiant Autocracy views the continued independence of the Order of Zahn as a prerogative. We are prepared to formally devote ourselves to that cause. They have guaranteed our independence. That's very nice of you. I guess you are xenophilic. Thank you. They are protective. They are overwhelmingly stronger than us, so I will accept that for now. <laughs> Hopefully, everyone else is peaceful and we can uh, spread our holy order and get System the most survey. multicultural society in the world. Oh, the colony ships now at Nakam. Scum and villainy on Zanamar. Crime continues to be a problem on Zanamar. And an extensive criminal underworld has now taken root on the planet. Some areas descended into lawlessness. Okay. Well, that's, uh, that's fine, because it's going to explode soon, so <laughs> we should leave all those people behind and only take the people that know that this is the best thing to do. Uh, okay, I didn't mean to do that. I keep doing that. I keep accidentally pressing on uh, going into the areas. But, as I said, I'm slightly rusty when it comes to uh, Stellaris, but I think we're doing okay so far. Okay, our colony ship has gently touched down on the sprawling savannah that covers most of Redemption Zahn. Yeah, Redemption Zahn, I think, is a good name as well. The shimmering air is dry yet pleasant. A large hurl of docile herbivores can be seen observing from a distance. The ship has been permanently covered, converted into the administrative headquarters of the new settlement, and its reactor core is in the process of being removed so that it may serve as the colony's temporary power source. Hundreds of small tents and prefab shelters have sprung up around the uh, former starship's massive hull as colonists begin to disembark in large numbers. The first Zum city on an alien world. Wow, wow, wow. We are finally there. Fantastic. Um, well, we're also here. We will always have a star uh, fleet station in here, but we currently have unavailable... Uh, unavailable things so we can't actually upgrade that just yet can we get any defense we can get defense platforms we have a lot of alloys so you know I'm happy to spend a few on, on uh, defense platforms over here it's not the best place to defend because you can access you can go around it 
Uh, either a sin would be a good place, but um, we can uh, we can worry about that soon. Conditions worsen on Xanamar. Earthquakes are now an almost daily occurrence on most of Xanamar. At least a dozen new supervolcanoes have appeared within the last few years. Massive ash storms blanket the skies, making air travel hazardous. Or even impossible in some regions. Temperatures have dropped by several degrees. Despite all this, a surreal sense of normalcy prevails on the dying planet's surface. Rubble from collapsed building is slowly removed, the swirling ashes swept off the busiest streets, and the lava flows are, where possible, diverted. The people endure. But we're getting a lot of um, alloys, minerals, and energy credits from our jobs there, but of course, people will not like to live on Xanamar much longer. Its devastation is high. Stability very, very low. Um, still 80% habitability after all of this. Okay, a new faction has recently been gaining traction on the interna internal political trans... Uh, guys, guys, I can't speak today. I don't know what the problem is. <laughs> Led by scientists Hefranira, they call themselves Alien Awareness Society. Friendly relations. I mean, yes, we will take them. The Committee of Faith and Values. So... That's fine. Of course, we have very low civility on Xanamar. That makes sense. Um, let's have a look at these factions. Oh, that's society management. There we go. Oh, God. No claims. We got no claims. So, they are happy. They want to allow for the replacement of organic life with robotic workers will displease the committee. I mean, yes, that's fine. We haven't, we haven't actually done any of that yet. Adopting the mind over matter as sanction perk will please the committee. Yep. Okay. Pious minds think alike. Yep. Pious polity as well. Having spiritualist values. Well, I was only 59% though. Because of the robots. But I don't think we have many robots. Well, the Alien Awareness Society are very happy as well. So that's fine. They're not going to be a problem just yet. In in, we might, if, if we change our governing ethics, then they might be. All oh, right. Well, we're losing consumer goods. Let's quickly hop over here and build another colony ship. There we are. And now we have no consumer goods. That's, that's fine, though. Yeah. Well, can we buy some? Is that is that thing that's available now with Overlord? Can you buy them off people? Let's get to diplomacy if we can. Uh... Oh, international market. I would like to buy some consumer goods. For energy credits, that's fine. We've got loads of energy credits, so let's buy that much. We're also losing food. So we will buy some more soon. Yeah, we, we don't have that anymore. Critical research shortage. It's, it's fine. We're, we're losing them, but we've got a lot. Right, Vultuum Observ uh, Observatory. The ancient Vultum Observatory has been found on the surface of Siluria 4A. The Siluria system is fairly distant from the region of space where the Vultum originated, and this facility appears to have been primarily used for the observation of their own stars. We have gone over observer uh, the observatory's surviving data. But there are no clues as to exactly what the Vultum was searching for. Very Situation interesting. Right, we've got a science ship here that is uh, completely uh, by itself. Then I say, yeah, so research the project there and then go and do this horrendously hellish anomaly also that it says. This uh, ship can build a starbase over here. Did we build all the mining stations? No, we didn't. Let's build that then. So we have both our construction ships on the way to do more stuff. We really need to start pumping out a bit more influence. We are not doing well on influence and it allow it's really hampering our expansion right now. Ah, but that's fine. I'm glad we bought that other colony ship anyway. Consumer goods shortages are going down. That's great. Archaeological project completed. The archaeological dig at Siluria 4 has uncovered a small mural. It seems to depict several different constellations, possibly as they would appear if viewed from the Vultum homeworld. Okay, they've not been able to identify the individual stars. Well, that's, that's fine. Build that... So that we can take those dark matter things soon. Oh, we go for the star base. I think that's better. And then we'll take the one pop next time. But we need to kind of force all our people out of Zahn when this uh, when Redemption Zahn is done. 
Uh, lots of leaders gaining levels, which is great, guys. So that situation is going to go away. Uh, construction complete. Construction complete. Where is this? So this is Shirip. Uh, da -da -da, Shirip. Whatever. Research it anyway. It's it's fine. I'm happy for you to do that, my friend. Um, and Redemption Zahn is nearly colonized, which is amazing. I cannot wait. There's a lot of uh, industrial and energy uh, energy districts. Right, a new home, guys. As the first colonists arrive on the surface of Redemption Zahn, many are overcome with a sense of euphoria. Worlds other than Xanamar that are capable of supporting, uh, supporting Zoom life had always been a theoretical possibility. What if, what if they were exceedingly rare? What if none could be found in our galaxy or if they had already been claimed by others? Those fears can be put to rest now. Redemption Zahn is a planet where Zoomy can, fry, can thrive. These fortunate groups of initial colonists are a start, but countless Zoomy are still trapped on our doomed homeworld. A mummified pilot. Okay, interesting. Well, uh, let us see whether we can cease robot assembly. assembly. We can stop that. Declare martial law. Discourage planetary growth. Planetary prospecting. Hmm. Adds a random, random planetary feature. That's actually quite nice. Costs a bit of influence, though. I'm fine with... Eh. Let's do that for now, anyway. So we have the reassembled ship shelter. Upgrades to planetary administration. We need more... Wait, wait, we've got enough minerals for that. We need more pops. So, let's get on to our homeworld, guys. And let's start resettling everyone. Uh, so, criminals, we won't take you. Yeah, criminals, you will stay. Uh, okay. Well, we need jobs first, don't we? So we need to start building. So we will resettle them first. And we need to start building. That's why we need this colony ship. I would like to colonize. Uh, which one's the best? It was Trappist 4, right? It's a quite small one. It's only 14. Well, we will colonize that first. Let's go for that. And we will call this new... Xanamon. Wait, it was Xanamon, right? Well, that was the name of... <laughs> Xanamar, sorry, Xanamar. I can't even remember the name of our homeworld. It's so doomed! <laughs> of course it's doomed when your leaders don't even know its name, but okay. That's fine. Construction ships. Another starbase. How much do we need for this now? So we need slightly less, which is great. I want to get this whole system going. Colony ships on the way. So redemption's on. When, once we've done this, we need to start building housing and jobs. So, autocon monument, alloy foundries, commercial zones, project precinct houses. Hmm. There's a lot that we want to build here. Temples, of course. We will build some... We will build... Oh, do we want to build that first? I mean, we need to be able to build to get food. So I think we build an agricultural district. Maybe even three. Uh, and that gives two jobs, which is fine. We have three current population. One of them is un unemployed. Hmm. I'd like to move my capital here as well. But we need a lot of influence for that. So we will do that. So let's do that. Let's actually build two. And we'll build a mining district after that when we've got enough uh, minerals, which we will do in a second. Then we'll build a generator district. And then we'll build a city district. Let's build the jobs first before the homes. We still have time until our home world is completely destroyed. We could go for off-world trading company. But no, I think clearing tile blockers is more important. Planet Prospected, what did it give us then? So, revealing a new mineral field. Okay, cool. That's that's decent. That's decent. That means those mining districts will have expanded. That's cool. 
Send artifacts to museum exhibits. No, thank you. We're fine. How are our science ships doing? They're fine. Our construction ships are a bit lazy right now. They don't have much to do. So there's no other real modifiers on this planet. It's also a desert world, which is fine. System survey complete. Could build another colony ship. It's, it's a, it seems obsessive at that point. Seems a little bit obsessive. But, do you know what? It'll be fine. So, at Trappist, we really need to build a big star base. With defences and all that sort of stuff. I can't wait till Autonomous Surveying is, <laughs> is researched. <laughs> oh. You're doing this horrendous level 10 anomaly. Hopefully it yields some good events, though. <laughs> Takes a lot of time to do. Quite a few years. But oh well. Well, while we're here then as well, let's build another colony ship. Let's just go f all out on the colonies. And we'll take Trappist 6. Research complete. Okay, another research is done. Oh, okay, brilliant. 5% research speed. That's great. Colony development speed? That sounds amazing. Please give me that. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, how long until Xanamar dies and we need so we need a lot of housing housing areas on Ryukor. How big is Xanamar, by the way? It's 19, so the new world's actually better. Which is good. Okay. An invitation. Yeah, research. That's only 134 days or souls. There have been many reports of unexplained seismic disturbances on Redemption Zarn. Tremors can be felt across the planet. Oh no, just where we've taken. Many of our settlements have suffered damage. While investigating the earthquakes, our scientists discovered a vast network of subterranean caverns. The deepest of these caverns is home to some kind of indigenous civilization. They appear to be tunneling towards the surface. Ground vibrations from our settlements may have triggered this behavior, but we cannot be certain. There is no feeling how these aliens will react when they spill out of their tunnels. Okay, well, we need uh, to do that project. That would be ideal. Um, yeah, we really, really need to do that. We, yeah. So let's uh, research that. I don't want to do a preemptive strike, of course. With Xenophilic, guys, why would we ever do that? It takes 32 months. That's fine. Incoming transmission. Okay, a migration treaty. I mean, you are basically the same as me. So, we will accept. Let's have a look at species. So, we are just Zoom. That's the only species that we have. Um, but, yeah, our leader's fine. Let's go to contacts. So, these guys, what are their traits? I want to see their traits. Can I see your traits, please? Their feudal empire. They're, well, that's us. <laughs> These guys. Protective, belligerent, overwhelming force. What are their traits, though? I want to see their traits. That's okay. It doesn't matter, then. It's, it's fine. Ah, well. Uh, I kind of want to build a star base over here. Okay, the monolith we found dwarfs the science ship we sent to investigate a majestic smooth slab of metal. The once garish pigment patterns on the front have been reduced to mere flecks. A small power outlet on the machine's side promises its secrets will be unveiled in exchange for a modest sum of energy credits. Oh, definitely. Let's, let's do that. The machine awakens, clanking behind the smooth facade. After much whirring, buzzing, and a dramatic pause, a metallic panel slides back. A ship-sized cylinder rolls out of the machine. The cylinder contains a liquid most foul, a once delicious nutrient long spoiled by time. By studying the substance, our scientists hope to learn about the biology of the aliens. Okay, biodiversity studies. That's good. That's good for us. Yeah, we need... I don't want to do the preemptive strike. I'm doing the uh, established communications, guys. Don't... <laughs> don't force me into this. Right, let's uh, go to... We want Trappist... Four. That's 16 size. We want the other one then. Trap is 6. Wait. Was that not... Okay. New Xanamar. That's that desert world that's... 14. What am I doing? 
Oh wait, I guess because it's a desert world, it had great uh, adaptability. Apparently, this Arctic world has seventy percent. I don't know why. Oh, strong magnetic fields. That's why. Well, we'll do that. So colonize this. We'll get this. Uh... Oh no, not that one. Dr. Zahn Starbase. This planet offers low habitability for the selected species. Yes, we will send them. And what should we call this? Uh, we called the last one Redemption Zahn. We've got New Zanamar. And we've got... Okay, we'll call this... The Zumi... The Zahn Brother. The Brother of Zahn. The Brother of Zahn because it's the smaller planet to New Zanamar, so I think that makes sense guys. I hope that's <laughs> People are gonna be commenting that how stupid I am, but colony oh well Yep, we've got another colony, so we need to start building more stuff. So New Zanamar Let's build, I mean it has so little um, Little mining districts this one Making a lot of food now, so I think industrial will be okay. We'll build an industrial district. But a couple of those, and then let's build it. Uh, we need some more minerals. We'll build a city district soon. On a. We could bit end up. We need to build a city district here. How much uh, housing do we have? Four available housing, right. On a. Redemption Zarn, then. Where's your building? Build queue. Get rid of that. Uh, on Redemption Zahn, let's build a city district. And we've got... How many jobs do we have? We've got three available jobs. So we can send three people over from Zanamar. Got 32 population here. It's going to take a while. This is, this is hard work, guys. This is hard work. So we'll send the three farmers. We've already got farmers. Let's send one enforcer, and if there's one with two, they're, I guess they're unemployed because of, uh, we'll send the politicians because they don't have the buildings, but that's fine. We will build them. We just need the cash. Survey complete. Right, let's go for the additional population. It's good for our colonies, that. All right. Okay, we now have holy guardians, fanatic spiritualists, nothing else. The Vem Protectors, where are you? Okay, you're over there. Interesting. It's quite nice. Another planet here. It's a tundra world, though. Love is friendship. We know we are spiritualists as well, my friends. Not that that stops... <laughs> like, we might hate each other's religion. You never know. You never know. Let's build another outpost over here. You're still researching that. Good lord. Let's us build an outpost over there. Block off this sector. Ideally, I want one there to block off all this and take this ourselves. So we'll try do that as well. We are building everywhere that we can. Building an industrial district. You're building a city district. Okay, new contact. United Ye Canum Hierarchy. Okay. They're hegemonic imperialists. That's not great for us. Militarist and fanatic materialist. We share the same divine heritage. We do. We will be nice to everyone unless they're like barbaric despoilers or something or hive mind. Commonwealth of Ichni. Oh my god, you are ugly. Authoritarian, xenophile, and materialist. Love is friendship set to music. Okay, more. Oh my god, we're, we're discovering everyone. Xenophil There's a lot of xenophiles in this universe, bro. We should all get along. It's going to be good. It's going to be nice. Construction complete. Okay, right. They're fanatic materials. They're xenophilic. We have allowed you to move about freely in our territory. Today we draw the... Okay, why though? Like, why? What's... Uh, it looks like there's um, a guy with some vassals over here. They Probably the administration of Ruthari has these guys as vassals. Interesting. Well, our Valon brothers can help us in that. Let's research that. That's easy to do. This construction ship. Let's build all those mining stations. Hmm. So, Zanamar, you're building the industrial district, but we need to get a job for the politicians. Oh, wait, no, that's the new Zanamar. It's Redemption Zan that we need a job for the politicians. 
Uh, so, where? which one is the job for the politicians? Is it temple? Well, we can do temple. That'll give some new jobs. Autocon. Hmm. Civilian industries. No. Commercial zones. Clerks. I would like commercial zones, honestly. That'd be good. Oh, we could get some more unity. Luxury residences. I mean, it is a feudal society that we have over here. I think we get the precinct houses, though, next. It's 360 minerals. So we'll build them next, and then we can get the enforcers over here. Can move the enforcers. Seven population there now. How how many in Zanamar now? 30. Right, we will resettle. We'll get the enforcers over there to start with. And then let's go for miners. And then in... New Zanamar. Yeah, New Zanamar. Let's get some farmers. Both the farmers. We'll get some miners. And I know they're going to be unemployed for a little while. But don't worry. We will sort them out with jobs. We don't have enough minerals to build any more mining stations. On solar sails, we have found the wreckage of an archaic spaceship of unusual design. Instead of using propulsion similar to that of modern ships, the craft relied on large sails unfurled in the vacuum of space. Interesting. That's good. It's good for us. We've got enough to build another starbase. Not yet. Okay, we've discovered a new archaeological site. Cool. It's, uh, it's outside of our empire. Okay, that's fine. It's on Regis, so we will build it. We will build the starbase there next. Research. As soon as we're ready. Okay, we're losing minerals now, which is not great. Uh, subterranean aliens. We would like to coexist in peace. Society reach. Add subterranean contact zone to resentation zone. Max generator. Well, that sounds really good. Is this thing on? Can you see us surfaces? We understand that you hail from the great nothing that lies upwards beyond the stone. It was assumed nothing living could exist there, but evidently this is not so. What are your intentions? Well, just tell us about yourselves. Our empire stretches across every pocket of the known world. Only the great nothing lies beyond our reach. We have many fine cities supported by lichen farms and the fish we catch in large rivers flowing through our tunnels. This has been our way for thousands of years. Our diggers heard the faint echoes of your city through the stone and we decided to investigate. So is that it? Well, we, of course, will coexist. Then so we shall, Surfacer. Let us share this world together in the spirit of peace. We should be most interested in trading with your people. I believe we have much to offer one another. We shall return to our cities and make our arrangements. Brilliant! Brilliant! We have our first, like, sort of second... Um, um, second race as part of our uh, part of our lands. So the first one that has uh, you know another race on board, which is amazing. As I say, we're going for the most multicultural society possible. Um, and these guys, I mean, we kind of just <laughs> colonize their land, but as long as they just live underground, I guess it's fine. They're not bothered with us taking the uh, above ground. <laughs> right, minerals from miners. I think that's what we need right now. We, we're starting to struggle on minerals. Abandoned terraforming equipment. Who could have built this? Situation log updated. Right. Uh, subterranean refugees. A large group of refugees from the underground alien empire recently streamed out of their tunnels onto the surface, chased by a small army. They are apparently part of some sort of religious minority. They claim to be fleeing persecution. If we let them join our colonists on the surface, it will no doubt anger the rulers of the empire they fled from. However, if we let them... Let the pursuing army take them back under, underground. Uh, Thimoid. We. I mean, <laughs> as xenophilic and nice, like we're pretty benevolent guys. But do we like we anger every single one of their like we anger their whole system? I mean, uh, we'll join. Let them join. We're benevolent guys. Right. So that was on New Zanamar, right? So, yeah, let's have a look at species. We should be able to... Oh, that's not species. So, Thimoy, this is the underground dwellers. Oh, my God, you are... Look, horrible. 
You're ingenious, you're quite cave dellers, and you like Savannah, right? You're ingenious, so energy credits from jobs. So you should be good at making uh, making energy. That's that's awesome. Right. New Xanamar then. Let's see what we can build. We've got five population here and one unemployed. I'd like to build this into a planetary administration, but I'd prefer to do it on there. Let's we have a load of energy credits. So international market. There we are. Let's buy a load of minerals. 2,000 minerals. We've got loads of alloys as well, so we don't need to worry. So we, now we can just build a load of stuff. So, on Redemption Zarn. Let's upgrade that. The same thing on New Xanamar. Okay, we can't. Why not? Number of pops must be 10, right? Well, let's build a city district. Let's build a generator district. Let's build a mining district. And let's build a farming district. So we have all different types of districts. Um, and then... Okay, we've run out of uh, we've run out of minerals already. But we are building on Redemption Zarn, so that's fine. We've got plenty of time to get our minerals back up there. And then we'll have the Brother of Zarn ready as well. Yeah, both places have unemployed pops right now. No jobs available. There are jobs available on... Redemptions on, but I'm guessing that population is the politicians or something. Vultum gas giant facility. Okay. Gas mining facility. Awesome. Updated. That's great. That should maybe help us take the uh, the dark moats or whatever we were doing before. Right. Let's go and survey over here. Construction ship. I think I'd rather build... The star base than the mining over there for now. You guys can build the mining stations there. That gets us more minerals. You can research projects in the system. Cool. I think we're good. I think we're pretty decent right now. We're looking good. So the brother of Zahn. Okay, another transmission. Defensive form defensive pact with the Valians. The Valians really like us. I mean Makes sense, seeing as they basically are us. So, I want migration treaties with a lot of these guys. Let's go on here. Offer a trade deal. Uh, information. Transfer communication channels of known empires. No, I'm not bothered about that. Uh, insult? No, I don't think so. I don't want to insult these guys. Uh, who else have we got? So the Commonwealth of Ichni. They're xenophilic as well. Everyone is xenophilic. We don't have migration treaties with these guys. Do we have to wait a little bit longer? I guess... Okay, maybe we have to border them. So let's uh, let's see what happens when we border the Vem Protectors once we've got this. The Vem Protectors. The boys. All right, once the construction ship becomes available as well, I will build a star base in Trappist. I mean, we have two cities there. Archaeological project completed. The most intact Voltum spacesuit that previously looters are somehow overlooked has been recovered. Interesting. So we've got another Voltum uh, artifact. Uh, research that. So when you're available, do we have a star base here? I would like to upgrade this to a star base. Yes, please. That would be our second star base. Let's do that. Right, construction ship over here. You can start building some of these mining stations. Let's buy some more minerals. Like I say, I'm not too bothered about paying with energy credits. We're, we're flush with energy right now. Let's make sure we're always building on these places. We've got the precinct houses. We've got the planetary administration. Let's build... Make sure we build temples on these places. And then over here, let's build... Making a lot of energy. So I think we'll build another mining district. And then we'll probably build another generator district. Then one industrial district once we've got the money. New Xanamar has got plenty left to build. Let us know. We've got plenty of housing. Let us know when we have free jobs. And the Brotherhood of Zahn. Lots of amenities over there. Not many amenities on the other places. 
We'll have to build something for that. I mean, the uh, temple should help that, right? So that's fine. Oh, this is fun. I, I love this. I absolutely love this. Oh, how good is Stellaris? It's just like, it's more relaxing than the other the other Paradox games. Like, this, you know, you feel less threatened all the time. <laughs> Ready to go. Like, it's just, just more fun. Like, more... Well, maybe not necessarily more fun, depending on your mood, but it's... It's just fun, isn't it? Starbase upkeep. Uh, we'll do the courier network first. Oh, we are really struggling with influence right now. Uh, produced base, migration packs, research treaties, commercial packs, defensive packs. So now that the Vem protectors, let's... Uh, okay, situation love. Message in a bottle. We are doing that. Uh, abandoned terraforming project. Okay. I'd like to research that. 65 months, though. Feels like that's going to be better, though. So let's go for that. About habitable worlds. Yep, precursors, mining base. Oh, we've done all the precursors, so we need to get some more artifacts. Let's get a uh, let's get a scientist. Uh, that one. You can go and do that uh, that project. Construction complete. Okay, cool. Another construction. So we can't build any more star bases right now, unfortunately. Are we building mining stations? Yes, we will be soon. Okay. Magnetic Miracle. Right, we'll do these two guys and then we'll probably end the episode. We are at that time. I've just been having too much fun. I've gone over quite a bit, but that's fine. After seeing the advanced weapons that our security forces are equipped with, several generals from the subterranean alien empire and redemption of Zahn have come forward requesting that we share some of our military technology. Our own officers are hesitant to do this, as it would make the aliens more difficult to defeat in battle should it ever come to that. If we refuse the request, however, the aliens are certain to view it. Arming savages with modern weapons would be a... We're xenophilic. We can't call them savages. That's horrible. But we'll, we will arm them. The strong magnetic field around the Brother of Zahn has been affecting computers on the surface recently. Oddly, this effect is not merely random interference. Instead, computers are actually working more efficiently than should they. Oh. Magnetic miracle on the Brotherhood of Zahn. It has a strong magnetic field. That's That's awesome. That's really good. Right, uh, right then, guys, I think. Oh, famine. Yeah, we'll give food. We have loads of food. We will give food to these people. We are making a very nice life with them over here. Redemption Zahn, Subterranean Society. Brilliant. Fantastic. Ah, well then, guys. Well, I think that's going to be it for today. We haven't expanded too much. It looks like we haven't expanded too much, should I say. But we've actually expanded now to three cities that are, three colonies that aren't going to absolutely explode. And as soon as we've built a few more of these buildings, and we have a few more jobs. We just need more jobs. Once we've got more jobs, we will send across all our population. So we need to be building on these constantly, really. Um, buying more minerals as much as we can. So I think we'll be doing that, guys, on the next episode. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Please do like, please do subscribe. It really helps the channel out. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again on the next video.